Well, it's good to have Martin McGuinness uh, in the short strand uh, this morning. He felt it was very important that he wanted to come out uh, after uh, the weekend's Covenant period uh, to really send a message to people here uh, in, in the short strand that, you know, they did show great restraint. Uh, they did show uh, a lot of respect and dignity for themselves, despite the very obvious provocation just outside here at uh, St Matthew's Chapel uh, at the weekend. Uh, so I think it's good that he took the opportunity, to, or he's taken the opportunity to visit uh, our local parish, uh, meet with our parish priest, meet with the community representatives who were working very very hard on the ground over the weekend to put in place positive diversionary projects on the ground for for young people uh, particularly uh, to take them away to give them a positive outlet uh, on the day and to take them away from the obvious and clear provocation and, and ugly scenes really that were witnessed here at, at St Matthew's Chapel. It's important to bear in mind too that you know this is this is an area where people live uh, I mean just along here is uh, Strand Walk, St Matthew's uh, Court uh, that, that that's people's homes and they too were were subject to uh, the ugly scenes uh, at the weekend. It's vital that it's important that we hold people to account, those who are responsible now for pursuing the people who breached the determination and in turn broke the law here uh, on Saturday. I think it's not just uh, pivotal that we hear clear signals from, uh, for example, the First Minister, who's an MLA for this area. This this is his constituency uh, and it's important that this community hears a message from him that what happened just a couple of yards from us here on Saturday was was wrong and it shouldn't happen again. We're only 200 yards uh, from the Reverend Mervyn Gibson's own church where he preaches a Christian message. Uh, there wasn't really a case of love thy neighbour uh, shown here to the people uh, of St Matthews uh, on Saturday. So next week uh, I along with the Sinn Féin delegation will be in meeting with the Parades Commission. It's vital that the Parades Commission who were here on the ground on Saturday take into account the breaches of the determination when making any further determination uh, in relation to the, this stretch uh, of the east of the city. The community, the, the community here has shown uh, the respect uh, and the dignity that it is entitled to um, and I think now the onus is on the PSNI and the Public Prosecution Service to ensure that they pursue those who, as I said, broke the law so fragrantly, so obviously, so clearly without any kind of regard for the community here uh, and pursue those uh, actively. Well, I've no doubt Martin's message, you know, is support, the solidarity uh, here this afternoon uh, will be welcomed and will be received very, very well uh, in the community. And it's good that he's able to come and see firsthand, not just, you know, uh, the, the, the negative side of things that happened at the weekend, but also see the much more positive side that goes on in this community, in this part of the city, day in and day out. Well, I wanted to take this opportunity to come and speak with uh, Father Keenan uh, at St Matthew's Church, but also to come and speak to the local community. People who I think have made a fantastic contribution over the course of the weekend in ensuring that uh, everything would pass off peacefully and they did that in the face of the, uh, I think some of the gravest provocation that uh, we have seen, particularly in the context of what has been reported, the absolute failure of the Orange Order and the Loyalist Bands to respect the determination of the Plates Commission. So I think that uh, it's important to come and uh, stand in solidarity with local communities who, through the community and voluntary sector, are making a fantastic effort to keep the peace. Uh, these clearly are, are, are people who uh, want to live in peace and want to be part of a process which gives their children and everybody in the community an opportunity to live a decent life. Uh, what we need to see is what I said yesterday in the Assembly. Uh, we need to see the Orange Order and Loyalist Bands having good manners. We need to see them respecting uh, the civilities that should apply and we need to see people engaging with local communities who are absolutely passionate about ensuring that uh, we move forward uh, complementing the peace process rather than undermining it. And I think the activities of uh, the some of those who engaged in triumphalist uh, uh, music playing uh, over the course of the Covenant commemoration did a great disservice to the very event that they said they were attempting to honour. And what was your message today for people living in the short strand? Well, my message to them is to uh, recognise the incredible contribution and power of local communities, the way in which the community and voluntary sector ensured through the different processes that they were involved in, which allowed young people in particular to be involved in diversionary projects with their own agreement because the last thing that people in the local community want, or even the young people themselves, is to find themselves embr embroiled in conflict on the streets. So, uh, you know, this is an opportunity to say thanks, to express my appreciation uh, on behalf of my party for the very responsible behaviour 
of the Short Strand community uh, over the course of the Covenant Parade last Saturday. But it's also to speak to people about what the future uh, holds, and I think what the future must hold is at some stage in the future uh, a recognition by the Orange Order, the Marching Orders and Loyalist Bands that uh, disrespecting local communities is totally and absolutely unacceptable and that their approach to uh, their own parades uh, has to change.